Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers. This is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 10 of my Terraria Let's Play. Uh, at the end of the last episode, which I apologize for being a little longish, uh, I uh, did some exploration of the dungeon after having killed Skeletron. And I got some uh, interesting supplies, but not really a whole lot that I could use, except I did manage to get a lot of uh, bones. And I decided that along with the cobwebs that I have here, oh, they were at the bottom and I didn't even see them. Wow. Uh, I... Uh, should have enough to make the necro armor set. So let's see here. First I'll need the breastplate to make some room here. And then the headpiece. And then the leggings. Alright. So let's, uh, well first let's see what my stats are with what I've got on. 34 defense and the set bonus adds 17 extra melee damage. That's 25 defense. That's a lot less. Uh, percent chance to not consume ammo. Okay. Uh, let me take this off. So we can see if there's any effects. I don't remember if there are. Yep, it's very similar to the uh, uh, Demonite set. You get this little shadow effect. I think I'm going to keep this. And go ahead and move up. Now... If I remember correctly, these four swords also make a uh, an item. Well, let me get rid of this junk. Don't need the bones, don't need the cobwebs. All right, let's try this again. Not for sure could make a special blade with this set of items. I got this Muramasa from one of the locked chests down in the dungeon. Might have to do it here at the Tinker's Table. No, I think I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, but I was pretty sure it was these four blades here to make the, uh... It might be at a demon altar, come to think of it. But anyway, uh, I am going to talk to this guy, sell the ignorant one. I did find just a regular one, 17 damage instead of 15. But there's also one more thing that I wanted to show you, and that is the safe. Well, that's not quite as... that's uh, a lot more than I needed. Alright, here we go. Now that I have defeated Skeletron, I can talk to Frederick here, and I can buy this safe. The safe is awesome because it acts just like the piggy bank. If you have one here and one over here, they both have the same contents in its client side. So even if you go on to uh, a server or, or um, a LAN server, it will still have the same contents that you had in it before, but no one else will be able to access your contents. So you can place it, take it with you, and just have, well, um, a whole other inventory's worth of uh, space. And then you break it, pick it up, and all of that stuff stays inside. 
So that's pretty awesome. Uh, I do have another golden key, but I think what I'm going to need is a lot more torches. So let's uh, do that. Fill up that stack there. And get another stack. There we go. Ah, <sighs> all right. My piggy bank is empty-ish. And I need to take this upstairs because I don't need the spike balls anymore. And I can sell the shurikens. I'm stuck. Um, you. I'll give you the spiky balls. Eh, I'll give you the shurikens as well. Okay, I am going to cut here, head back over to the dungeon, see what I can find. And then uh, hopefully... Oh, aha! I almost forgot. Before I cut, let's uh, make another mannequin. Put it there. And give it the necro armor. Ta-da! It just gradually gets more interesting. Anyway, I am going to cut here and uh, look up the sword recipe, see what I'm forgetting or missing, and uh, then I will be uh, going over to the dungeon, and if I find something worth mentioning, I will hit record and let you know. So see you in a minute. All right, my suspicions were correct, and it appears that uh, I can go ahead and make this here once I stop getting attacked. The Knight's Edge, currently my uh, Fiery Great Sword does 44 damage, and that's enchanted, or, or reforged, or whatever you call it. The Knight's Edge is 49 damage, and they both have a pretty good range on them. Let's go ahead and craft this baby. Ta-da! 49. There we go. But I'm not thrilled with that. So, uh, let's see if we can't reforge this with what little gold I have. Get back up here. Talk to this guy. Reforge. All right. Here goes. Annoying. That is annoying. Legendary, I can deal with that. 56 and fast speed. Excellent. That is... That is really nice. Okay. So now I'm going to work my way back to the uh, dungeon and uh, hopefully be able to make some more progress down there. I already have one golden key. Hopefully I'll be able to get more as uh, as I uh, progress. I am going to offload this unnecessary stuff real quick, but I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back from the dungeon and I have a lot of stuff. Uh, almost my entire inventory here is from down in the dungeon. I've got all this in my piggy bank, and I've got all this in my safe. But the most important thing that I got was this, the shadow key. This opens all the chests that are down in the underworld. And you only need one key for all of them, as opposed to the golden key, which is used, used up per locked golden chest. So... 
I'm going to offload all this, sell what I don't want to keep, and then I'm going to head down and see what I can get out of the chests down in the underworld. Because I, I know I saw at least two or three of them, and that's usually some pretty good loot. So I'm going to offload now, and I will be back when I've gotten down in the underworld. See you in a minute. Well, I am done down in the underworld. I have explored every single building, broken every urn, and looted every chest. There was only one more chest down there off to the right uh, that I did not know about. So everything is taken care of and nothing was worth picking up, unfortunately. But that's okay. Uh, what I'm going to do now, since I have a few golden keys anyway... Uh, you will see that I've got some gravitation potions. I'm going to go looking for some more floating islands to see if there's anything I can use in any of the, uh, the locked chests up there. So, I'm off to go looking in the sky. If I find something, I'll let you know. Well, it turns out there's only a total of three sky islands. Which is kind of weird. This is the biggest map possible, but I guess that's okay. Uh, I got, I think I got one of each of the uh, special items that you can get from up there. Before, I got the, uh, the horseshoe. And now I've got the star fury. The star fury is kind of interesting. Uh, if you click on something it will make stars fall from the sky it's kind of uh, hard to do anything when you're in an enclosed area though so I'm not really going to deal with that the other thing is a shiny red balloon which increases jump height now I have the cloud in a bottle so if I combine the Shiny red balloon and the cloud in a bottle, I get a cloud in a balloon. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, what stats did I get on it? Hmm. Let's see if I can reforge that. No. No. Oh dear, it costs 20 something gold to reforge. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to deal with movement speed. Ugh. Okay. Uh, I, I need to get more money. I'll probably kill some, uh, more, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, the, the Eater of Worlds. I'll probably kill that a few more times. I am going to hold on to the Star Fury just because. I don't know why. Uh, and I did get some feathers from some of the harpies up there. But other than that, and the two chests, there really wasn't much of anything to write home about. So, I'm going to head back down into the dungeon in hopes of at least getting a shield so I don't have to worry about knockback as much and uh, then I will uh, let you know if I find something interesting be right back alright now that I am done with the uh, dungeon area for now I decided to go over to the easternmost ocean and dig under it because I'm going to be uh, using it. Uh, I did want to show you something though. Uh, normally as you're moving through the map when when you go left or right up or down uh, the character that that you are right here uh, will stay in the center of the screen. However if you go to any of the four edges of the map you will start going off-center. 
And when you are at the extreme left or right of the screen, the uh, wall here, though you can't go past it, uh, can still have things spawning on the other side of it. So in order to prevent things from pouring out from uh, the unknown side, uh, what I like to do is just dig one over and fill in the entire side. Um, this will also prevent any fluids from pouring out over to the invisible but still existing uh, uh, off-screen portion. Uh, there is one thing that I forgot to do, however, when I was back at the, uh, the home base. And that is, I had found a cobalt shield. Actually, I had found a couple of them. And... I wanted to go ahead and make the... Aha! Uh, obsidian shield. Um, I think I have to do it up here, maybe? Yep, there it is. Uh, immunity to knock knockback and immunity to fire blocks. So, let's see here. It has two defense on it. I think that'll have to do for now. Uh, I don't use this all too often, except in some of the boss fights where I don't want to get thrown around a lot. Uh, or when I'm doing stuff up in the air and I don't want to get knocked off of my my uh, perch. So a uh, an obsidian shield is a good thing to have handy. Uh, also, when I was going out to the edge, I came across a, a what's it called? Goblin Scout. When I killed him, he gave me some tattered cloth. And with some tattered cloth, what you can do is uh, create a goblin standard, I think it's called, and actually summon a goblin invasion. Uh, the goblin invasions do happen sporadically, but uh, if you're not happy with how often they're happening, you can actually just force it to happen. Uh, so I'm going to put the tattered cloth in here, and if I can remember where I put the feathers, somewhere. Hmm. I know. Aha. Feathers. Um, so what I'm going to do is go back under the ocean off to the east and finish digging down and filling in the sidewall. Now, uh, the reason why I am doing it off to the east is when you summon the wall of flesh, it starts in the east and will drift westward slowly. Uh, so, in order to uh, give it the, the maximum amount of distance to travel, I like to start as far eastward as possible. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get back to uh, what I was doing over there, and I guess I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back, and I have made a considerable amount of progress down in the underworld. I have the actual floor of the platform that I'm going to be using for the Wall of Flesh Arena uh, completely constructed. And I'm just taking the elevator down to... Uh, <coughs> Let you guys see what I've done. I just went back up to offload some stuff. There we go. Hey! Why'd you follow me? I have a lot of voodoo dolls. This isn't even a third of what I've gotten from being attacked while I was leveling this off. Uh, I'm not even close to done yet, but I have the at least the floor of it. It goes all the way from one side of the map to the other. And... Uh, Everywhere 
where these buildings are. I'm going to be clearing them out above the floor to make room for uh, the actual combat. And my uh, method of defeating the wall of flesh requires me to have a uh, pretty unobstructed area to fight in. Quit shooting at me. Anyway, um, basically what I'm going to be doing is all the way at the far east side, I uh, will have a uh, pit that I can drop the voodoo dolls in, and uh, then from there over I will be able to have a pretty unobstructed fight. Uh, Painting towards the west. I've never had it go all the way across the map before, but uh, you never know. But uh, I just want you guys to see what I've done down here. Uh, basically, everything up to up from this floor to about I'd say probably about here is going to be cleared out. All the uh, blocks that I can collide with uh, will be removed. Um, so it's going to take a, a fair bit of doing. Uh, eventually, I have plans for clearing out pretty much everything down here, just making a lake of lava, just because. Uh, but I'm going to get back to work, and uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, Furious. Hold on. What's this? I have the Agile. What's Furious do? Leave me alone. I'm looking at something. More damage. So I'll sell that one. Anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut. I will be right back with... Uh, Either some more progress towards this or if something comes up, something else. So talk to you in a minute. I'm back and I have decided to take a little bit of a break from staring at lava, fire, imps, and hell bats. And instead I've uh, begun deforesting my map because I want to get as much of this wood as possible since... Uh, after I switch it over to hard mode, it's going to be much more tedious gathering resources. I don't know if I'll need all the wood from the map, but it hmm, doesn't hurt to go ahead and grab it. Uh, but my plan over the next couple of episodes, now that I have the majority... Stop hitting me. The majority of the NPCs... Uh, I'm going to start changing the apartments around and making uh, various rooms and chambers and whatnot to house all of the uh, NPCs and uh, the resources and storage that are related to them. Uh, and a lot of that's going to use a bunch of wood, I'm sure. So I'm going to just go ahead and clear the map. All the trees will be down. Um, I don't think, I haven't been able to find any information on this and I haven't been able to actually get it to happen, but uh, even though you can replant trees, you can plant the acorns into little saplings, I'm pretty sure you can't get the big giant ones back. So, uh, that, that'll be a little bit of a bummer, but I, I guess that's okay. Um, I am planning on, uh, making a, a bit of a, uh, platform up in the sky near the middle so I can have some uh, some arenas for doing some other combats but uh, for the most part the structures that I'm planning on doing are just going to be 
uh, I guess, aesthetic in nature. Nothing really too terribly fancy. Uh, but I think I'm going to go ahead and cut here so I can concentrate on doing this instead of talking. So I will be back in just a bit. Okay, guys, I'm back and I have uh, made a, a good deal more progress down in the underworld setting up the uh, uh, wall of flesh arena and decided I wanted to uh, come above ground and do some more harvesting, but what I'm harvesting is demonite ore, which obviously you can get from the Eater of Worlds. Uh, so I've been doing that a couple of times, and I just wanted you guys to see with the gear that I've got on and with the Knight's Edge sword, all I've got is just that, and I've got some plus to defense. More defense, more defense, more defense, and movement speed. Which, I really should turn that into defense. I like the defense. Anyway, I just want you guys to see how little time it takes to actually defeat the Eater of Worlds. I can just stand here. That was it. All done. Lots more demonite ore. And apparently... Why? Oh, because there's an altar on it. There we go. So I have... Uh, Three, almost four stacks of demon I adore. I'm going to clear out the next two worm foods. Actually, I'll go ahead and do that now. Why not? Come get me. Excellent. And once more for good measure. a success and if you're wondering I just found a shine potion in one of the urns that I was breaking down here and decided to drink it just to see how much light it actually gave off I've never used it before anyway uh, the reason why I've been harvesting the demonite ore is so I can build things with it uh, and maybe have a little back stock just in case I want to recreate some of the uh, uh, tools and weapons that I sold preemptively um, but uh, yeah there's still plenty to dig up but it's easier to just harvest it from the big guy so uh, I'll when I find nodes like that sure I'll get that but eh, it's easier to just get some worm food and kill it uh, there are still plenty of the shadow orbs around, but I'm not in any hurry to uh, have any more meteor strikes just yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, I have finally gotten enough stars to uh, put myself at a full complement of 
uh, 200 uh, mana. So I'm pretty much almost ready to take on the Eater of Worlds uh, gear-wise. I or not the Eater of Worlds, the uh, the Wall of Flesh. I'm pretty much ready to take it on gear-wise. Uh, I just don't want to take it on yet because of uh, I, I don't have my buildings arranged the way I need them yet. Which is probably going to have to wait till next episode because it's been, I guess, about half an hour so far for this one. I love these vines. They're so wonderful. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here and uh, get a little bit more uh, work done on the underworld and hopefully next episode I will be back to uh, defeat the wall of flesh with any luck. So I am going to go ahead and cut it short here. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comment section below and I will do my best to get back to you. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a like. I do appreciate it. And uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my next stuff comes out. But that is going to be it for this episode, so thank you once again for watching. This is Thorn of Night, and I will talk to you later.